Hi Pisces, thank you for coming back to Her Light Cosmic Tarot. Um, I am sorry that I am coming to you so late. My family has been sick, so if you hear um, my son in the background, I have been sick as well. Um, please take that out of love, I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to do these videos. I'm still under the weather, so that's why I'm not doing um, a video showing my face. So please accept this in love and the messages will ring true as usual. I did receive some um, pre-shuffle meditation um, messages and I will go over that after the prayer. I've been just calibrating the cards to your energy. My Pisceans, what is up? What is up, my Pisceans? Yep. That's like the same energy that I got. Um, the Nine of Swords. So I got that some of you. Okay, so let me get in the prayer. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the collective of Pisces. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for always um, guiding us through. Thank you for giving us the highest messages for our greatest good. Thank you for assisting us on this journey throughout life. Thank you for guiding us on our path. Let it be known that we are here to accept your love, your messages, and your abundance of light. Thank you. Amen. Okay, so the messages that I got were that you were struggling um, with either making a decision or the str uh, a struggle of being confident in a new decision, a new way of doing things, um, or being um, transformed. Like you are going in a new direction or in territory which um, is potentially uncharted and you haven't, you're unsure. You're, you're really unsure. Um, how you'll get through so um, I'm not sure what you guys are dealing with um, you guys are unsure and um, unsteady and uh, as far as you know your happiness and what all the things that you want um, I did see the nine of swords and the, um, the anxiety about the ten of pentacles so you guys are concerned uh, um, as well as the six of wands. So you guys are concerned about your happiness and being successful. Um, you want something to happen, but you're not sure if it's going to be everything that you want and need. And some of you have walked away from a situation or you ended something. I did see the nine of pentacles, which is my single ladies or single persons card. So um, maybe you are unsure or um, you're in a state of, um, you know, when you just end something, a relationship, you're in um, limbo, so to speak, and you're unsure of going forward um, in your next relationships, um, how things will turn out. You're a bit um, jaded, so to speak. Yeah, it could have been um, um, a, a, a past connection. Um um, yeah, the five of pentacles came up, so it could have been a past connection that somebody was left out in the cold, and um, you're a little bit jaded by it, and you're unsure and unsteady, so you're trying to gain ground on how to be successful um, going forward. So Holy Spirit, can Pisces have cards? What is Pisces going through? Pisces, more cards for Pisces that wanted to come out. Okay, more cards for my Pisces. What else for my Pisces? Yep. This almost um, is mimicking. I did a daily taroscope on my in Instagram, and it's kind of mirroring that. So I'm gonna piggyback off of that because it's kind of mirroring it. Like I said, one more card. For my Pisceans. Ooh, that one wanted to jump. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Under the deck is the Eight of Wands. So, communication is coming in. These are for um, the Pisces um, who are um, in a relationship. So, there's communication coming in or, or something is going to come in and you are not going to be too enthused about this communication you're gonna be um 
essentially um, rejecting the offer. Offer. Um, when I see the Four of Cups um, upright, you are considering it. But when it's um, in the reverse, I like to think of it as a hell no. <laughs> so um, you are um, not interested in this offer. You um, can see through whatever this is um, and it's not good. The reason why I'm saying that is because you see the windows in the background. And usually when you look at windows, you can see through. And as I'm seeing through here, this is dark. And it's you can't tell um, what's going on. And you know um, that you don't want to delve into something like that. That you don't know what's going on and things are um, unclear. So, yes, yeah, so you're rejecting the offer and you are, um, some of you are, um, you're rejecting this offer, but you're still, um, not willing to go forward in possibly dating and, or you're healing. I see that you're healing, um, and that, you know, this healing could take a little, a bit of time because as you can see these, um, these uh, branches and leaves here in this situation, you were uprooted in some facets, you were uprooted. And when you uproot something, um, you take everything, you know, like a tree or what have you. When a tree is overturned, the roots are sticking out of the ground and they are still, they are bare. They're um, in the presence of the elements. So at this time, you're still a bit jaded. At this time, you're still a bit, um, you know, you're still in your feelings, so to speak. Like you, um, you may even possibly resent this person, but you are, um, you are supporting your notion of not going forward with this, not accepting this. Um, you have all of what you need right in front of you um, to withstand you. You are standing in your own power. You are um, free in where you are and what you're doing. The person that you could have been with um, brought the shadow side out of you. And I'm not saying that's a terrible thing, but it could have been um, brought out for far too long and or it was not emotionally um, good as the Eight of Cups. You walked away because it was very um, disheartening. Um, and when you walked away, you could have um, felt, you know, better. You felt, um, when I see that, you could have, um, your vibration could have raised. Um, I see that possibly when you were with this person, your vibration was low and they were bringing you down and you did not have the emotional support that you wanted. Um, and they're coming back in with the eight, eight of wands and under the deck, the ace of cups with a big old apology. This is what this is. A big old apology, but you're, unex you're not willing to accept it. And they, get, they are in their heads and they're in they might be anxious or anxiety filled about it um i'm trying to see yeah it's like you are free you are free in within yourself and you are holding on to what you want and holding all to all that you've invested within yourself um I always look at this card. This is the chariot, by the way. I love it because it's so... This deck is uh, uh, the Tarot of the Moors. And a lot of this is like... Um, it's old school. But when I look at this, he looks... Um, he looks like he has merged the, the future and the um, past. And that's what, you know, you are going forward. You're like, oh, hell no, I can't. I'm moving on. Um... I'm going to be, you're like, this is how you are. This is, you're, you're, you you can't be touched. I'm going forward and I'm going forward without you. And um, I don't know. I just see that these people, these lions or, you know, I said people, it could be the divine, um, your ancestors, somebody surrounding you that is protecting you and um, helping you on the journey. Um, yeah, it's somebody that... 
I'm getting a lot of cards here. It's somebody um, that could have possibly um, passed away on the other side. Um, um, I'm getting, I don't know if it's, they passed away when you were younger um, um, because I'm getting, um, or when you were born, I don't, I'm not sure because I'm getting the fool in the page of wands. So this person could have passed away when you were a, a little um, child. Um, so, or, or persons, because I'm seeing, I'm seeing two. Um, yeah, they came out right again. Yes, the, um, this, uh, yeah, this person, if it's not um, people that passed away um, before you were born, this is, um, this is either, I'm getting like, somebody somebody who hasn't come here yet some like either your higher self or your future children um i'm getting that vibe as well um yeah i just i feel that you're on your path and nothing's stopping you yes <laughs> oh my gosh guys i i i like to um I like to shuffle the cards while I'm talking to you because it helps me get into the energy. And these just came out. So communication is coming in and it's coming in fast from this person. So expect it either within this time frame, February 15th to the end of the month. Even though I say these are timeless, but that time could be um, essential that this person is wanting to come in um, and... Uh, see why you walked away why did you walk away and why are you not accepting their offer um so yeah i see you on the journey and um you're you're not looking back you're not looking back and you're going towards this nice ace of pentacles here um you know you have continually you know raised your vibration and I just, the hangman just flew out. You've been raising your vibration and getting yourself into a better light. So, and, and the divine has provided you in balancing yourself out. The divine is giving you um, an abundance. Yeah, it's coming in. This is my communications card or, or something's coming in fast. And I say something because um, this person has a telescope, but we may not always have a telescope. So it could look like communication or it could look like something else. Um, if you have the telescope. <laughs> uh, but anyways, it's, it's to me communication um, and or something's coming in. Something's coming in. Um, so and, and, and guess what? This communication is coming in, but don't don't let it disrupt you from this new ace of pentacles this new beginning um this new solid foundation um this you have been traveling on this road and you have been looking for a new yeah here we go it's all coming out look the tower you have been traveling on this road of healing for so long and you've been looking forward to this and knowing this person comes to you do not let them take this ace of pentacles away you are denying it they could potentially feel they could feel as though um they they are in a sense feeling that you are coming across um this this ace of pentacles and getting stronger within yourself and knowing what you um all what you are and all who you are they are getting that vibe they are noticing that you um look <laughs> they're noticing that you 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 could have cut cords with this person because the temperance is balancing out and they don't feel balanced anymore <laughs> you you ripped the connection away you took you know they just don't feel balanced anymore and they're reaching out because they may feel you know they want to latch on to you or latch on to something else um but i see you continue yeah 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 so okay 
Oh, three cards just came out. So yeah, they've been they've been um in hermit mode, but they're ready. The secrets are ready to come out about this um either breakup or the reason why you split or the reason why they've been treating you so terribly. They've been thinking about it, but you have made up your mind. Look, and the devil is underneath. Hmm. Huh. And um, and and to me, it could have been surrounding toxicity, things that were really um. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I gotta I gotta bring it back. I gotta bring it back. Um. I'm just because I love to tie the cards in. You see, this was under the deck. Look at this card. Look at this chariot card. Look at the red. Look at the black. This is what you're leaving behind. It could have been toxic. And something's telling me that this person or thing hasn't changed. Look at look at this. I kid you not. Look at this. Look at the devil here and look at the background here. This is you and the chariot. You're moving away from this. And they want to come in. They've been in hermit mode and, and isolating themselves. Trying to enlighten themselves, but not really. Um, but the secrets are coming out about why were, why they were so shitty to you. Or why they treated you a certain way. But yeah, the 10, to me, is the end of a cycle. This is the end. End of a relationship. They're trying to, they're trying to come in. And make things better. They may have come in before and you accepted them. But you are saying no sorry Bob. And not this time. Because uh, look what I got. No sorry Bob. Any advice for the Pisceans here? Advice going forward for the Pisces. Collective. Pisces. Pisces. For Pisces. Oh, they don't want to talk. Any advice for Pisces, Holy Spirit? One or two cards, Holy Spirit, for Pisces. Three more shuffles. Okay. I'm gonna talk. It's like you already know. You're going forward. <laughs> That's the energy I'm getting. That is the energy I'm getting. You already know. Okay. Yeah. Fly high. <laughs> yes, continue doing you, boo. What can I see? Oh, yeah, continue doing you. Um, you're transformed. Um, you and you're staying in your power. You're sticking in your power, and you're learning more and more about yourself each day. Um, so it's like um. Living in your truth and following your heart is going to lead you to the abundance that you need. The page to me is about learning. It's princess, but it's, the page to me is about learning. And in this effort, I think you're learning about yourself in this new beginning. Learning to love yourself. Learning to be true to yourself. Learning to not sacrifice yourself. Learning to stick up for yourself. Continuing to um, look out for you. I think this is gonna. This is the foundation to your new Ace of Pentacles. This is where it begins. It's a page. It's young. It's still maturing. Uh, but you, I believe you will get there. But the universe is giving you that. That chance. So Pisces, I hope that this resonated. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.